Um, like a lot of people want to know what we've been doing the last five years. Like, you know, they must have thought we fell off or what have you. Um, but we were actually building our, uh, our overseas market, you know, which consists of, you know, we just built up, opened up our 300 store in China. You know, um, we opened up a, a, a store in, uh, in Milan, Italy, early, you know, late 2007, early 2008. Um, we just opened up a new store in Turkey um, this year, which I mean, actually last year opened up in uh, December 2008. So, I mean, you know, we've just been establishing our brand overseas and, and, and building that that part of the, the business. You know, when we got, you know, kind of slow over here, we wanted to make sure we still had a, a, a strong hold on the market, which, you know, we're not advertising the market and to the people out in the U.S., they don't know what we're doing. So, you know, that's what a lot of people kind of thought that it was. Yeah, like, they just thought that, you know, we, we just fell off and just stopped working and whatnot, and, and that wasn't the case. Um, you know, um, we wound up picking up uh, Kooji, you know, which was is, is one of the number and one. And how, how, how did you guys do that? Um, what made I mean, you the, decide the offer, that? The offer was presented to us. Um, I think Damon was the one that, 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 that took it home for us and, and, and um, you know, with our partners. And, you know, it's, it wound up being one of the, the premium brands out right now, you know. Uh, other than that, I mean... How long have y'all acquired this? That, that's this has been about four or five years that we've had that. Okay. You know, uh, and then other than that, we, we, we're working right now on, on relaunching the brand, you know, in the U.S., you know, since it's still hot overseas. Um, kind of slowed down in the U.S. Well, it really slowed down a lot. And, it, you know, from us not doing anything, but, okay. you know, we're, what we're doing right now is we're pushing it back out putting all the marketing, the advertising motion, you know, materials and whatever we need behind it. And, and you know, you, you'll be able to see exactly what's going on. Exclusively in specialty stores nationwide, FUBU last year landed in the mecca of mainstream fashion, Macy's. This is a new era, baby. Fubu, next level. Whether you're 5 or 55, amateur or pro, these kids know what they're doing. Fubu, these clothes make a statement, but you gotta get your own ice. Fubu, baby. Sales will top a breathtaking $100 million this year, thanks in large part to rap giant LL Cool J. Next level, Fubu. He wears Fubu all the time. They asked star rapper LL Cool J, an old friend from Queens, to wear their clothes. At a time when we were nobodies, and, and, and put a, a name such as LL Cool J behind a, a brand of nobodies, mm -hmm. you know, he, he saw the, you know, the, the persistence. And, and we started going to his house every day with the product, and he turned us down constantly. I don't like it, don't like it, don't like it, I don't, you know, but we came back like 20, 25 times, so he said, I do like that, and you guys do have persistence. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna wear it on a TV show. The determination in this. So, you know, it wound up working out. And, you know, everybody ate. You know, I just, I was listening to his, his, his uh, CD the other day. He's talking about he saved his food money. I hope he did. He used a whole lot of chips, honey. Homie, you heard? What, what caused you guys to separate at that point? Um, you know, I, I'm not gonna really go too deep into that, you know, cause I still got love for L. You know, mm -hmm. he's a good dude, he's a he's a thorough dude, he's a loyal dude. Um, you know, things didn't work out. Like I said, we, we kinda let the brand go down a little bit and you know, the checks wasn't coming in like they were before. And, mm -hmm. You know, I think people just got, you know, impatient and, you know, so whole kind of things just went to the left a little bit.
You know what crazy? I mean the view is actually beautiful man. I mean, you know, we've been here for about going on 14 years now. You know what I'm saying? Most people can't keep up the rent that much, you know, that long rather. But even when the when the trade center, you know, went down, um, a lot of people thought we were gonna move out and, and, and you know, relocate. But where you running to, you know what I'm saying? Our business is here, we're here, it happens, it happens, you know. Um, but I've just been sitting up here enjoying this view for the last 14 years. I don't think I want to go anyplace else. You know what I'm saying? And, and, and now, I mean, you know, I can look down there and, 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 and think about all the people that's wearing my product. You know, we used to sit up here back in the days and just trip out. I chilling on the corner. was making my money. Then the cops ran up on me. I was my They put me in the cups when I'm my And I'm chilling with my honey. Me. I was in my peace, and I didn't have my peace on me. 